Right, what's up everybody? It's Chris D for PC Addicts. This is a follow-up to a video I did way back when. I, basically, I think when I first started putting YouTube videos out. Um, it's a pretty popular video, or at least it has been on my channel, um, to a degree. It's one of the top ones, so it's it was really poorly done, and you know, it's uh, it needed an update. So, I figured I'd shoot out another video. This is how to remotely shut down a computer within a domain. And, um... If you want to see the original video, you can click down here, and uh, but this one's gonna I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a better job. So, without any further ado, what I got going on here is I have three computers running, one computer running this this one, one computer running these two green monitors here, and then my laptop. All right. In order to do this, and this has been one of the top questions in um, that other video. In order to do this, you have to be a member of a domain. It, it will not work if you're at home and you're just on a work group. Um, there may be some tricky stuff you can do with mapping network drives and putting credentials in and everything, but I have yet to try it. I just I, I'm always in a domain network anyway. So, but what I have going on here and what a domain network is, just briefly, I'm going to do a video on that too, the differences. But briefly, what a domain network is, you have to be running a Windows server. Um, so right now in the basement I have a, a Windows Server running Active Directory which manages all the credentials, all the logins for all the computers in here in the house and uh, that's what's going to give us the ability to be able to shut down and restart other computers now or at least the way I'm going to do it here there's other ways you can do it, some other software and stuff but it's just with basic Windows tools okay this computer here that I'm on the main one is on the domain this computer here with the green monitors is not on the domain. This is a work group computer. And the laptop is on the domain. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to remotely shut down this laptop that's on the domain. And hopefully you can see in the video here. Um, you can see it restart. So what I'm gonna do is bring up a command window. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, you can actually just t just hit start and start and type in shut down space and then switch I, which you can't see right now because it's not in the video. It would look like this: uh, shut down switch I. And I'm gonna hit enter now, and it brings up the um, like a, a dialog, a, a window, kind of a, not a wizard, but a GUI interface versus the command line. Now this is this is the way I prefer doing it. It's just I don't know. It's what I got used to at the school district. But when you do shut down switch I and this comes up, since I'm on a domain now, let me let me rewind because this is where a lot of people get confused. Since I'm on a domain, I have what's called a DNS server running on my server, which uh, translates computer names to the IP addresses. And to show you what the, what that does is if I ping, oops, the computer name of that laptop, which is HP laptop, you can see it resolves to the IP address here. Okay that tells me I'm running a DNS server somewhere and it's resolving not always I mean it could use NetBIOS names and all this stuff but for the most part I that's that's how it's getting its IP address you can do this in fact let's do that again shut down switch I you can do this with IP addresses as well if you know the IP address you just pop in the IP address here which will be 192.168.2.22 and then next down here you go what do you want these computers to do you can restart shut down and I don't know I'm just gonna restart here you can warn users and give them a little time period say hey you're it's gonna shut down here in 10 seconds you know better save your stuff I'm not gonna do that I don't wanna do that not on the, not in this scenario in options I'm not gonna do anything I'll just type whatever in there now so right away this should restart that laptop Let me get out of the way here I'm gonna hit OK Okay, and there it goes. It's shutting down, logging off. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way is right here through the command line. And I'm going to wait until this comes back up. But it is important to note that, for instance, like this computer over here, we're going to let this boot, and I'm going to kind of show you how it will not work on this computer, the stream PC, because it's part of a work group. And I don't know if you can see in the, in the, uh, in the video. Hold on, i got to... I got a I'm dual booting this thing with Ubuntu and I need to select Windows. But I don't know if you can see in the in the video, but I'm gonna do a zoom in all the way. 
and I brought up the system properties and down here where it says work group down here it says work group if this computer was part of the domain if I would have joined it to the domain it would have said domain and then it would have said the domain name which is ST for my my domain here this is not the case here so it's not going to work and I will show you that by trying to shut it down now I know that I know the name of this computer and it does resolve because I'm running a DNS server I manually inputted the um, DNS entry the a record in there so if I ping stream because the, that's the computer I actually stream live from you can see it resolves to 192.168.2.1 or that 21 which is fine so let's try the same thing let's go shut down oops switch I let's add 192.168.2.21 um, we're gonna do the same thing warn users we don't care about hit OK and you're gonna see that this computer is not gonna shut down it would have shut down already okay um, even if I were to pop in the computer name so now this computer's back up over here we're gonna do it a different way we're gonna do a couple things different this time we're gonna use instead of using the IP address we're gonna use the computer name and we're gonna also do it right here in the command line okay we're gonna go shut down and then we're gonna do switch M and that's for a remote machine and we're going to do a UNC, UNC path with the actual laptop's name, computer name, space, switch R to restart. And there's a lot of switches. You can do different things and, and everything. You can even, there's even a switch to cancel a remote shutdown um, uh, trigger or whatever. And I tried it and it actually worked. So. And then also I'm going to do switch T for time. Otherwise it defaults to 30 seconds. You have to sit here for 30 seconds before the, the computer restarts. We don't want to do that. I'm impatient. I want to do it now. So I'm going to do two seconds just to give it a little bit of time. So this should work. If you're going to watch over there, I'm going to hit enter here. Okay, hit enter. One, two. And there it goes. It says shutting down. And you probably can't tell the difference in the video, but it's shutting down. Trust me. <laughs> um, so there's how to remotely restart. And you can also just shut down the computer as well, remotely shut down it, using just the basic Windows tools. And this works in, uh, in uh, as far as I can remember, it works in XP as well. I mean, if you had XP and you wanted to launch it from there. Um, I do a lot of remote administrating, administering, or I used to at least, and I do now to some degree, but not as much. And this came in real, real handy. So there you go.